Um, all right. All right, Coach, uh, another memorable Thursday night. We seem to always have dramatic Thursday night games here at the Plex, but uh, obviously taking game one of this series against BYU, just your thoughts. Yeah, I, I think we started off, um, you know, just defensively, I think Sarah wasn't as sharp as she was at the end, but love to see that how, you know, she finished the game solid. And uh, we, we do like to keep it interesting. Uh, we left some people on base and, uh, you know, we but we pulled out in the end with, the, the win, so I gotta love that. Um, I love how Chloe made the adjustment in her at bat and you know stayed on it and drove it back, you know, in the gap. So uh, looking forward to seeing quicker adjustments tomorrow and playing solid defense. Speaking of Sarah, I mean that's a talented offense, eleventh yes. in the country in runs scored, hitting, but they're also know how to get on base. They know how to take pitches. Uh, just see how was she able to overcome <laughs> all that? Because she got stronger as the game went on. She sure did. Yeah, and. Again, those two runs that scored, one was on a first and third play, and then the other one was a miss hit that, um, you, know, you know me as a pitching coach, I think all fly balls are out. So, um, But yeah, I thought I thought she did a great job. It was a three hitter. Um, she did a great job against a very, very good lineup. Um, and they're tough because they can hit a lot of different pitches. Um, and they showed because they, I think two of their hits got off, were off for changeup, and everyone knows that's, you know, for changeup's dynamite. So. Uh, kudos to them, but yeah, she's one that gets tougher as the game goes on, and uh, like seeing that. Stormy, a couple hits, tried, tied the game with the RBI. Seems like more that. comfortable at the play here in the recently in the last few weeks in the month. What have you seen from her? Yeah, she's just making quicker adjustments um, and really sticking to using the whole field. Uh, she's, you know, lefties sometimes will try to pull the ball, but she has such good power to the other you know, other side of the field. So. Um, when she utilizes that, it's really hard to pitch to her. Uh, and I just love how she stays solid. She's a she's a stubborn grinder, so um, just love how she stays solid in her at bats and uh, just mentally tough. Obviously, they get the lead on an interesting play. There was interesting calls there going on, but you, you fought back and scored two runs. Uh, and in fitting, that it'd be Shannon, Jada there with Chloe. Your two order of Pegasus award winners now, obviously, yes. with Jada and Shannon. But talk about that. What was said and then come responding like you did in the fifth inning there? Yeah, well, we just defensively we could have played the first and third a little bit better. We've, you know, we've, no, we've trained for that crazy, like, in a different way. And so play, um, for Shannon and Jada, usually if you kind of get at them a little bit, they want to, you know, punch back. So, um, like you said, very fitting on how they got on right away. They didn't take time, they just kept throwing punches back and uh, put us back on the, on the scoreboard. So. Um, and yes, you, you, I like how you slid the Order of Pegasus in there. Um, we were just talking about that. It's one of the most prestigious awards you can get here at UCF. And for us to have back-to-back -back softball players, and I mean, what better than you know Shannon and Jada to be able to do that. Um, and then what they do on the field. I mean, how we do anything is how we do everything, and they are the epitome of that. They're going to be like Order of Pegasus sisters now. You know, the two of them are linked there together. But, you know, Jada obviously gets moves into third place all time in career hits tonight as well. Moves in with a double away from the record. I mean, it's been remarkable what she's done. And her and Shannon now with 170 wins uh, during your time, which you know very well. <laughs> um, yes, they, when they say the, the win records, I'm like, well, it's a lot of it's Shannon and Jada. Um, but, yeah, it's, again, the way that they prepare, they've been so process-oriented. Um, and we tell them not to focus too much on the results, but being process oriented, um, results come. And they have been so just diligent at really giving back to this program, feeding to the program in any way they can. Um, and it's paying off and, and it's showing in their own individual success. And you know, they're gonna be definitely models to keep following, but gonna keep enjoying the, the time that we have um, and extend it as much as we can. Obviously, got a long series to go here in this series. Yeah. Uh, what's the approach now moving to a Friday yeah, yeah, night game yeah. for game two and then a quick fine. Saturday it's noon like, game? It's a unique week from that standpoint. It is. Um, well, you know, and it's just the same thing I told the, the team is uh, BYU is a feisty team. They've, they've been a great program, um, and they one game isn't going to affect them. Um, and so I just told them, like, be ready. They're, they're a team that battles. Um, and like you said before, they've got, they've got the bats. Um, to put the game in motion and they've got some speed and they do a lot of different things so um, you know just playing our best game and 
staying solid and really just slowing the game down. Um, the pitch clock is, is such a good job. It does such a good job for our game to keep things going and speed things up. Um, but I've noticed just uh, some differences, right? Like it feels like the game gets a little faster on us, and it, which is supposed to happen. Um, but I see us making some mistakes that we didn't used to make. Um, and so we're learning what that looks like and how to kind of manage that and um, just take a breath and, and then get in there. So um, I want to see us do that in these next two games uh, because, you know, we, we've shown really well in a lot of the first games in the series. Uh, and so just getting better and stronger with each pitch, each inning. Shout out to Shelly Frick, by the way, who's in Australia. She was the first order of Pegasus winner in softball. So I don't want to leave her out. No, Give her a shout awesome. out on that. Yes. Uh, 2010. And this crowd, lively Thursday night crowds. It's always uh, feisty. I've never heard the crowd react uh, under certain calls that I'm not going to bring up. But, <laughs> well, tell me the atmosphere, because that was a regional type postseason atmosphere. And I think the players said and seemed to feed off of it. Yeah. Well, I think that, that too, is the credit and, you know, the uh, just the respect for BYU. They're a great program. Um, Coach. Eakin, is, he's done such amazing things with that program. I've been able to watch what he's done with that team, that program from as a player up into a coach um, and, you know, a few different schools. But um, gosh, what's what fun with our Night Nation as far as you feel the support. Um, and, you know, that's that's what's good about the replay is it, they're going to make the calls. Um, and typically, you know, it's, it's going to go and it's going to be the right call. And that's what it's for and it's intended for. And, um, sometimes we don't like it if it didn't go our way, but uh, I love having the support because I think they they kept the energy for us, the momentum for us. It, I just you knew that they were there. Uh, so, but that's what's so tough about coming over here to the Plex and playing uh, the nights at home is uh, you're not just playing against the 27 athletes on the field; you're also playing against the entire Night Nation in the stands. All right, thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Thanks, Coach.